Hello and welcome to game two of Vengeance 2017 at Element Games, covered by Steamforged on the live stream at Twitch. So we're going into round two. We've got a matchup of Morticians versus Brewers. We've got Drees playing the Brewers. We've got Steve playing the Morticians. We had Esters revealed as the captain for the Brewers and Quaff as the mascot. Yep. And we've got Obulus and Dirge on the Mortician side. We've just had Gas drawn. Yep, for the uh, for the morticians uh, and Stoker and Mash for the Brewers. And then we've had Graves, just regular season one Graves dropped. Then Pint Pot and Coss it down for the morticians and uh, original Spigot. And then missed in as the Union support. Okay, for so we have Esther's support. We have Mash, original Spigot. And Stoker and Pint Pot. Getting our cards ready. So in terms of what could have been drawn there, Steve had a lineup of ten um, going for both both captains, so Obulus and Scalpel. Uh, Dirge was his only mascot, so obviously yep. Drees knew that Dirge was going to be the mascot. Brain Pan and Memory, Cosset, Casket, Ghast, Mist, Graves and Silence. And just to repeat the players he selected, he selected Obulus, Dirge, Cosset, Ghast, Mist and Graves. Over to Drees. Drees went for Esters and then Quaff uh, as his mascot. One of our mics, or is it a player's mic, is quite close to their mouth. I can hear breathing quite heavily. Um, so we had Esters into Quaff. Um, and then yeah, we've got Spigot in there, correct? Regular Spigot, a pint pot, a mash. Mm -hmm. And who was the final? Who was the final pick? Uh, these ones. These are the rivers here plus pint pot. And Pied Pot. Yep. So we had Stoker also. So then to go through Drees's six, he's gone for Esters, Quaff, Spigot, Pint Pot, Stoker, and Mash. Uh, so the other four that he had to choose from that he didn't take were Tapper, Hooper, Avarice and Greed, and Veteran Spigot. So we've just got Mist coming in here uh, as the Union support. And outside of that, we're all in Guild. Fantastic. Okay, all right, we've got our cards ready. In terms of the initiative roll, that was won by Steve. Steve opted to kick and selected his side of play. So you're going to see Drees receiving. Yep. Drees re receiving the ball is always favourable. Yeah, they, they need that threat extension. They need that four-inch dodge to really push themselves into the fight one turn sooner than they would normally get there. So it looks like he's going to be kicking with... Is that Obulus that he's kicking with? Uh, yes, it looks like. I believe that is Obulus that he'll be kicking with. Very often you see a kick with Ghast with Morticians and Ghast yeah, there just, just to, to really get him forward. But push him forwards. He's gone with the uh, what looks like the Obulus kick. I think that's missed up out on the wing. Dirge the next one along. Then Graves. Sorry, no, that might be Cosset in between. Because then you've got Graves, that's Dirge. Yeah. And then through to Obulus and then Ghast on the lower end. And then obviously Drees hasn't actually deployed yet. So. And getting everything ready. So, uh, Brewers versus Morticians. Quite a bit of a slugger as a match. Yep. We're yeah. hoping for a, uh, a nice quick one. Yep. Uh, like a fish fish hunters, but uh, we've got the complete opposite. Of yep, what, we've got, what we were we've got a, for. We got, we're in for a long one on this. Yep. Um, Mind you, it is a brawler heavy and, uh, uh, Brewers list, this and one. And a distinct lack of tough hide. Yes. Distinct uh, lack of tough hide. You've got unpredictable movement on MASH as defensive tech. You've got yep. gluttonous mass on Isters. Outside of that, there's no defensive deck in here. Uh, yeah, well, you've got gluttonous mass, pseudo gluttonous mass from the heroic on Pint Pot. Sorry, yes, correct. Uh, Stoker has his two armor, which yep. is pretty decent on the whole. Yeah, yeah. Um, Quaff loved creature to push their attack up, and Spigot being the liability in defense, but fantastic support character piece. Interesting to see the Morticians player Steve opting for Mist over Minx. Yeah. I think generally you um, see a lot of Minx as the union support for the Morticians. Why do you think that's down to just generally considering that Mist is the sort of striker you want uh, when you yeah. use Nobulus over bo uh, Bonesaw? So, uh, when Bonesaw's not in the list, you yep. need that out-and-out -out striker. Mm -hmm. um, and Mist brings that 
no other guild member really brings yeah. as such. Uh, he's got the free charge from Cosset. He's got Dirge. Dirge. I mean, he has a very fast... He's got. A, there are a lot of players on this team that are capable of scoring. Obvious is oh, Obvious is always a goal scoring. Always threat. a threat. You've got. Um, Graves and Cossett, who can be both goal-scoring threats just because of the, the speed they present and both having the 2-6 kick. Yep. Um, Dirge. Dirge, super fast. Just Definitely a goal threat. I mean, goal if you're threat. not scoring with Dirge, you're doing it wrong. You've got to score yeah, I mean, with mascots. I mean, you fly. Well, you don't move. You get puppet mastered to go forwards. Yep. Then you fly and you shoot. Yep. And you have what? Well, how far is that? 16 plus 20-inch goal threat. You can do that turn one. Yeah. Pass, nice. the, ball, pass the ball, four-inch dodge, yep. puppet master, fly, shoot. So, interestingly... Should we, should we shout over? Oi! Yeah, yeah just shout Steve. over. This is what you should do. This would be sweet. Yeah. So he's going with the kick. It is definitely Obulus that's kicking. Yes, it is, yeah. Interestingly, we're seeing uh, a similar thing to what we saw in round one, where you've got a matchup of a, a player with a decent amount of two-inch reach against a player without much two-inch reach. You've only got yeah, the one two-inch really reach player on... Uh, on Mash, which on is a Brewers. bit of an interesting one for the Brewers. They... Have well with, with with Tapper as captain. There's quite a lot of two-inch melee in that guild. Yeah. Um. But obviously with Esters, you lose that a little bit. And Unfortunately, it's though, there's no there's no real defensive tech besides Obulus is unpredictable. So Scatter, you need to try and get around. Scatter's gone three inches to the four on the roll. Uh, that's uh, pretty, pretty I think decent. he's gonna take it. Ball's placed on the spot. So there you go. He has. Rice up there for Spigot. Yeah. Point pots card on the laptop. Let's kick off right. done. The handshake Hand is out handshake and out off they go. Point pot, PDF. Similar to the first round, we don't have the information on the plot cards. So yep. we'll just. We can yeah. speculate as to situations when they may come up, but we don't have the information as to what they are well, or got. aren't. So with the round being a little bit delayed, we couldn't get the setup that we wanted. Oh, wait for the camera. Um. Yeah, so we don't know. The, we, we know their players. We don't know the plot cards. Uh, off from the off, I'm going to support the Brewers because that's the guild I've been playing recently. Well, I've got to go for morticians. You'll go for then, morticians right? then because that's to. that's how common three works. I mean, Steve's going to carry this through. Yeah, you'd hope. So interesting interactions you've got here. Point pot gets around Gast. Oh yeah. With his beer tokens. So he doesn't spend influence. So that might be something you see. Point pot in this lineup. He, he's basically just going to be charging around. He's, he's just he's running around doing whatever he wants because he doesn't need the support. Yeah, he doesn't care. That, that, that's, that's what I found in my games playing him, that kind of normal is really good for him because he gets the plus one tap, plus one yep. damage. But he's a great sort of first activation and go and engage lots, smash face, or yep. a great last activation where he can smash face. Because of bleed the bleed. Yep. Yep. So allocation. We've got two on Ghast. I'm not sure how many there is on uh, th Three on Ghast, surely there. Yeah, he's just changed. He's just said another oh, one. Okay, on cool. There. Yeah. Uh, three, three on Gast is interesting for turn one. Normally, you only see one on him, and then Obulus with the stack, because mm -hmm. typically his turn one thing is just to run forwards and get in position. I'm assuming Obulus has got at least four. Uh, yeah, you'd want a Puppet Master, at least. And Steve, just, it, just talking through just common, common rule stuff, sort of the implications of what Puppet Master can and can't do, just to make sure everything's clear. So it's a good bit of sportsmanship from Steve there at the start. Yep. Everyone just saying what special rules they've got, what character traits they are. Nice to see. It was what we were talking about in the last yep. uh, street commentary where at the start of the game you say all your uh, like reaction all the, stuff. All, the, all of the traits that might catch someone out that yep. isn't entirely familiar with playing with the same teams. Yep. Yeah, as yeah. predicted, Spigot going forwards, picking up the ball. He's gone for pass. a run, run forward, grab the ball, back to where he started, and then a pass to... Is that Esters pass, in the middle? Pass to Esters. Four because he's legendary. Because uh, uh, he's got... Uh, he, uh, football legend. Football legend, yeah. Not legendary. Uh, successful pass, and then uses the momentum generated for the heroic play. Time's called to give all the guys within four inches, plus two, plus two move. So that's Make kind of the dream scenario. You oh, kind of, yeah. you'd, it's in a, you'd anticipate that being the play that comes out, but he's just getting that speed so he can be hyper-aggressive up the board. I, I would have thought he'd have put one more on him to give two ducks out to someone, to Esters. Possibly to get those blast elves down, but I'm not sure how much influence he gave Esters. It looks like three from here, but I'm not 100% certain. Yeah. Missed there, just taking his jog up to go and get in that cover, yeah, ready cover. to burst out next next turn. Mm -hmm. Obviously no Sultesians in this team. Interestingly, if he had taken Bonesaw and missed, yeah. Bonesaw is now Sultesian. Is he? I believe. We can check. 
I could be uh, wrong. Um, bag of quaffers going down onto Stoker. So the mascot activation, and then he's just going to go for a jog forward. I'm assuming he's going to go into the cover, and he does. Cool. That's uh, just a six-inch jog forward. Fast pup. He goes uh, over to Steve. He gets out a big, long widget. No, and that is for Dutch. But, uh, Bone Saw used to be a Sulthesian priest. Okay, but he is not Sulthesian. He is not Sulthesian. Confirmed. Confirmed not uh, so the bird just getting up very far. Uh, in, his own, out. in his own activation? Yes. Oh, I can't yes, score that was just his own activation. Can't score. Yeah, I know. Weak. These people are weak. How yeah. can they not see these things? Um, I think that unless Obulus has got five goals off the table, like swiping the ball and getting yeah. it to someone because he hasn't got the, the influence of the pass, obviously oh, with the change to Puppet Master. Mash charging, the, mash charging the bird. He is within two. He's in cover. Def so five, no, no armor. Be rolling five. Rolling eight dice. And he fives. gets uh, three rolls of cock die, so he gets four successes. Oh, how's that? You gonna? Is he gonna smack him? God. Oh, he just takes the two no, how's that? Damage. That's disappointing. He I'm buys another. But yeah, put three on him. So two for the charge, one for the attack. Knocked down, just needing the fours now. And he gets two successes. Oh, re rolling for the clock dice, so he gets two successes on that. Two successes. But it's two. What are you doing? Bird doesn't have armor. Uh, it, on our screen there, Dreis just took away one dice for armor, it seems. But he doesn't have one. So, yeah, just to clarify, we have a camera on the dice that obviously you can't see because it get in the way of the table. Yeah. But Dreis there rolling a one, a two, and two sixes, but only declaring one success. So. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Lunch has got everyone thrown off. Early yeah. lunch. The early lunch. No one was expecting it. No. Everybody's head's in a different place. Ours especially. Yep. <laughs> Apologies for the delay, by the way. Yep. We are back underway here at the Element Games Northwest Gaming Center. The room is absolutely packed full of people playing Guild Ball. So how many is it in total? 116 players? Uh, 116 it? players, yep. So how many matches is that? Uh, Harvard. it. Oh, come, on, come on, Captain Matt. 58. So 58 games 58 of Guild Ball games going, going on. It's a lot of Guild Ball. It's a lot, a lot of Guild Ball. So uh, both these guys lost their first game, and they've been randomly chosen from the list yes. to come up on here. So they were very surprised when they were told they're on table one. They're like, how? Yep. Like, oh, no, you've been, you've been randomly chosen. So today we're randomly choosing the four games just to give a bit of variety in the teams you're seeing, see a yeah. different variety of players. Uh, and then tomorrow it will be back to, back back to the standard... Order that the uh, yep. the standings are, just, so you'll be seeing top the, table. the top the people drawn on top table tomorrow will be the players that you do so, see on the so top table tomorrow. If we hadn't randomly drawn this, I think we'd have been watching um, Union Engineers again. Was it would the have been draw. Union Engineers and again? Even, even though it was Rich Loxham and we wanted to show off under the director, uh, we were like, "Nah, we can't do that again." Yep. We not that you can't watch it again, but we can't commentate that again so soon. With the exact same. It'd have been d raising. maybe if it had been like Black Different Heart Ballista, it would have been Blister. interesting. It would have, but on the on the chance that it wasn't, we were like, we'd like something some different to talk brewers. about. So Mort's Brewers, we wanted the, we wanted the speedy one, and we got the slowest. Two grindy teams. Oh, uh, what is this we're seeing currently? So Dries has just got some momentum from something, but I can't see who's can't figure hitting. it out. Oh, pass the ball to. There we go. Yes. Uh, spigot there. Guys, do you want to put in chat who you think is going to win this matchup and what the final score is going to be? And what I'll do you think to the right. lineup choices? Yeah, what do you think to that? Uh, so, Dries again. There we are. Estes moving forward to get within three inches or four inches of Mash to give him Def 3 armor 2. Yep. Making him very, very tough to pin down. Yeah. And then going for. I'm assuming this is going to be... It is a fire blast going out from Esther's. Uh, Dries making the choice on Obulus or the bird. Uh, I think uh, you, you don't want to kill the bird, do you? You don't want to lose not that momentum that you just sat early, and no. built up. 
I guess the thing is that if so you So he do drops it in front of Obulus, interestingly. He hasn't actually dropped on him. So that does limit Obulus' options, though Shadow Like might get him where he needs to be. It might do, but then with, with using Shadow Light to get there, Mash is reasonably safe. Yes, because he would need to get in base to base to be able to, to, do to it. get it done because of unpredictable movement. And if he dodges straight towards him, then he's going to get fire and be down to, what, is it 2-4 yeah. movement? Granted, you could see another turn 1 legendary. Yes. Wouldn't be an awful play well, just to get it out. I mean, one of the strengths yep. of Obvious's legendary is obviously knowing you always have to worry about it. Yep. But you've got an opponent sitting there racking up momentum. Yep. This might be the time, time to use it. Interesting putting the ball on Spigot as well, of all, of all choices. Yeah. Because now the ball cannot Lowest be... Low def model. Low def model cannot be Not moved again. Not play. Yeah, that, that's, that's more the point I was trying to raise there. Get my head around it. Yeah, so obviously the the ball being on a player that's already activated means there's nothing that can happen, and it's also a low def model with yeah. very capable kicking stats. Which, generally yeah. speaking, if you wanted want some anti puppet master, you pop it on a uh, on a on mascot a, on a mascot with a one four kick, and just yeah. try and try and ensure that they're relying on poor dice rolls to get it to you. Yeah. Also, he's a, a one inch melee, so yep. obvious if he were to go gung ho. So he has oh, legendary. Oh, turn on legendary to steal this. I suspected that might be coming yep. up, and there it is. So, but shall, shall but I, I think like he's going to be a goal run here. Yeah. Then he's going to spend one of those to get rid of the fire, I'm assuming. And then yep. possibly just charge. You might not need Puppet Master here. No, no. Uh, your Spigot's so deep. Your threat range would be eight inches. So yeah, that looks... I mean, I think that's what he was a, measuring. That's a out. six, and that's a two, so he'd need to sprint. Okay, so he's going to Puppet Master and then probably dodge. It must be. I think he's going to try to take, take some dodges. Potentially gluttonous. It's so tough. I remember now from SteamCon, it's so tough to commentate Obulus because he's got so many, so many things, things available to him. You're like, oh, he's obviously going to do that. Oh, no, they've thought of something different. So he, it's all I think he had, maybe actually we undersold it, and I think he actually had six influence on him, yeah. perhaps. So he's so got two influence left. Needs to pop gluttonous mass, first of all. So, so the goal, that in. I'm not sure this is the I'm correct play. No. Defense three, armor one. Oh, he did Puppet Master Spigot. Wasn't hitting Estes. Oh, okay, he was going for... And Spigot successfully, successfully passes it. With two sixes on ah, the pass. And the four-inch dodge forward. Yes, yeah, and then yeah, just shoot. Then That's just shoot. What I, that was what I thought it was, but when he moved in to engage Estes, I found myself questioning exactly yeah, what, what he was what going for. Was. Um, and then I'm guessing this is just going to be a shot on goal. Yeah. See, so he got two influence left. Within uh, one inch, so I assume an attack... Dodge away. I'd attack Esther's here. Yeah, oh, he's, it's safe. He's not triggered. Oh, mass. sorry. Yes, sorry. You are correct. Getting lost in my own head now. Yeah. So he's going to be hoping for this one-inch dodge, which he should get relatively yep, easily. Yeah. So four hits, minus one three, three net hits. Going to get him his dodge. Dodge. Just the momentous one-inch yeah. dodge. Won't get him. He won't get him into tapping, but it will get him disengaged. It, he might get into one into tapping range if he stays engaged, and then he's got to take a two dice shot if he's bonus time in it. Yeah. To get three, so two dice needing threes or two dice needing. Oh. I mean, I'm no mathematician, but that seems close. Yeah. So staying out the one outside of four, taking the two dice, maybe three if he bonus times it, which I think he's got the momentum to do. He does after the rigor mortis. He yeah. So he has three the minus to one, do. get one back. So shot bonus time. I think he's just out of tapping range. Just out. So, bonus time. Both players agreeing that he's just outside of the tap-in range. And Obulus yep. taking the shot and goal. And he does opt for the bonus time. So this is three dice, needing a four. And he scores. And he scores it. Four, four, All six. successes. That's two fours and a six. And that is four VPs for the Morticians player. So, Steve's on four with Morticians. Dryce is on zero with Brewers. And he's just... Looking to see if he's going to take any dodges out there because he is in beatdown club. Granted, as we saw last time, there's only two, one two-inch melee player here. Yep. He's kind of safe where he is. There's not much that can be done with him in retaliation to not that really, goal. No. Um, I mean, Stoker is stacked up to the nine. He's on plus one damage and plus one bag of quaffers. It's interesting that Steve went for that goal run there because he could because of where the ball was. There yep. was no way that ball could move. And now I'm, it's free again. Well, it's partly that, and I'm just curious as to if he had held that activation. I'm not sure he could have, but that, could he have potentially got more momentum out of that with his rigor mortis if he waited oh yes, later yeah, on if in if the he, turn? If he, like, Obulus could have gone last. 
I wonder if that might have been. But now but then, but then, he can position the rest of his team around, around where this ball goes. Yeah, and also I guess if a, if a goal is on the on the table, you take it. You take it, and it, if, if, if if you can see the path, and that was a very reliable goal shot. Yes, yes. Because it, all, all he needed to do, he didn't even need to make that attack on Spigot, yep. but he could because he was safe to do so. Needing just one hit with five dice yeah. against the F3 model. Well, you take uh, that. Dries said uh, after the rigor mortis, there's no counter there's, attack there's no, option. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. So completely safe. He doesn't take unpredictable movement. Brave. I guess Stoke is the worry. Furious. Potentially. It's yes. Tactics. No. That's that seems intelligent. So this is. Pint pot coming in. Yep. Uh, needing fours and one. He gets four net hits, minus one for the armor, which I believe is a knockdown for pint pot. Oh, he's on four hits. Two, two momentous. Two momentous damage with the push, and I'm guessing he's now going to push him to engage, which actually, if he can push him... If he can push him in between... I'm not sure. I think the gap's too big. I don't know. I think, I he's, think tip, he's checking it to see yeah. if he can get he can him sandwiched him in, in, but I don't think he can. Unfortunately, I think the, the a base will fit through that gap. Yeah, but if it if it didn't, that would be a very clever move to get him. Oh God, yeah, you can get off the table. Quite literally trapped inside. But Dries, oh, there we go. We've got a counter attack coming in, and the counter attack on this one. So the dice roll from Dries, looking for fours and one. He gets uh, three net hits, minus one for the armor. It will be one momentous and a push, probably. I'd go for the knock. Oh, no, sorry, no, I got the knockdown. Got, got, got yeah. two hits. His, his, his choices are one damage. One Gonna damage momentous the, One momentous damage with a push, I'm guessing, here. Yeah. Or one, one with a dodge. Push. One with a push he's gone for. Dries does now have the... He can play with the freedom of knowing Oops, he's safe yep. from the Obulus Legendary. Got so angry, he just threw his just template in his widget. Pot. Yeah, did not, did not like this counter-attack coming in. And here comes the counter-attack. So he's tack four. Attack four, threes and one. And oh, that two hits, two, that's a double dodge. Successes. Yeah. Nice if, uh, play if, by Steve if, if, if Dries was playing fantastically optimi optimally here, he, after the first attack, he could have put up his heroic yes. to get the gluttonous mass, and then he'd be free for all the remaining beer tokens and yep. attacks coming in. Yep. And Obulus would still be in that position. And Pipe Pot could then even start dodging into position to position that yep. trap when Stoker comes in. Yep. But now Obulus is going to get Obulus away. Obulus is free now. I mean, I'd say free. Stoker can still just throw some character play. Oh, yeah. Was I mean, it he, he Molotov can throw out. that Stoker's got? Uh, well, Mol he actually has um, Flame Jet. Flame Jet and Molotov. Which is three damage of the burning condition. Which, if so you get uh, Obulus burning, he cannot go. He's so slow. So, so slow. And the legendary is off the table, which is a, a big thing. A big it's part of playing against Obulus is. Not losing using the legendary is almost as strong as using it and getting it out the way so early. Granted, it was it was in trade for a goal. That's probably yeah. a good trade, but getting it off the table so early means yeah. that Dries can now just go and generate as much momentum as he wants. Brewers yeah. are generally pretty reliable at getting momentum. Yep. So what we just saw there from um, Steve was Cossack walk forwards just in front of the fire and, and then on mash. lured mash in. And I assume. There might be a sprint and a punch from Gast, but he's what four seven is he? Four seven, so he might, he might get in uh, there. Looks like a well. Get, judging it on terrain, that terrain has to be at least six inches away. Yep. So maybe just because it's a threat threat range of nine. Yeah. So assuming that those pieces of terrain are oh, so somewhere Sto between six and seven inches. Stoker has come in on Obulus, and Obulus obviously is going to unpredictable. Unpredictable away. And then I'm assuming he's just going to flame jet him afterwards. Oh, yeah, it has to be. Um, a very sort of nice use of the Frozen Forge um, yes. movement widgets there to make sure that all movement is nice, nice and, and clear. You say, as he gives Stoker a little nudge with his, uh, with his widget there? Yeah. Player's just, just put it making where you want. sure that he ends up... <laughs> player's just making sure that he goes back where he started. And Steve just checking that Dries is happy with where everything is now. I'm sure and he's. I'm sure he's not happy, but I'm he's sure he's. He pumps back, and uh, and Obulus in fact snaps the ball oh. off off the unpredictable movement. Oh, very clever. So that is bad I'd news, bears, because Steve is currently is assuming the momentum sends the role it should. Will be Steve getting a first activation with Mash Obulus well on the, the ball. Um, oh, and he? very, I mean, he could just go and get so much momentum and pop the ball in. So throwing down a Molotov here. 
He hits it. So Burnin is now a Nobulus. Again. And Flame Jet. Now he gets a plus one damage for his uh, Burning Passion. He hits it, so he takes four damage. And that's four damage on Obby. So how much damage is that Obulus is on? I think he's got eight health left. Uh, he starts with how much? 14, 14, so he's got 10 health left. He'll take one for Burning Kill. He'll start the turn with nine health remaining. So how much damage and was it that Point Pop got in? The Flame Jet hit him earlier, so he's got seven health currently. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Uh, Gas just uh, so he doesn't go towards Mash. Gas just runs up and he and he burns the two, and we go to an initiative roll. Two Three momentum to two nothing. and no momentum on Steve. Oh, uh, so Steve. Mortician's got a six. Brewer's got a one. So, Obulus going first. Obulously. That's unfortunate. What is the uh, pun no. or the? Oh, it's all of it. It's still everything, just gone horribly wrong. Terrible. Game two and already. I don't want to be here anymore, Jamie. I what are you doing to me with that? <laughs> Sorry. What is that? Low-hanging fruit. The lowest. <laughs> the lowest of low-hanging fruit. So... Oh, dear. We go to allocation. I think it was seven on Obulus, two on Cosset. Seven, seven on Obulus, if he's not done that, is... Four on Mist. To go for the return goal. And just one on Just finish this off quickly. Quite possibly. It's just presenting a threat. Yep. So nothing on Graves, nothing on the bird, and allocation turns over to Drees. Uh, oh, was the Obulus burning damage marked? So he should be on seven left after burning. So I'm not sure it was. I haven't seen him mark a, anything. A, another <laughs> card. Um, we have to keep our eye on that one. But uh, Obulus yeah. is on is on fire. Legendary's out the way, so he hasn't got that option to be able to just steal that one to clean that up. He so doesn't, he's not going to need it. He's so no, close he's, in, he's and there's so many options to dodge off, and that oh is the weakness of all these one-inch melee players. Yep. He's uh, got his double dodge on two hits, which is reasonably reliable. Yep. Uh, Stoker is probably is not my choice of attack here because he's three's two. No, the two armor. You sacrifice one influence, hit gluttonous mass. Oh, no. I think you shadow like forward oh, and shadow just like hit spigot. spigot. Spigot, yeah, obviously. Which looks like what Steve is going to do here. Just use that shadow like... So people in the uh, Twitch said 12-6 to Brewers, 12-4 to Morts, and 12-8 to, I assume, Brewers. And we have a whelp. Can I change my vote? Yeah. <laughs> I think the uh, big issue that is... Uh, no, you're not allowed. No you, no, you locked that in. You locked that in. Sorry, no changes. So he's engaged by one, hits bigger, four dice, three is one. Should get one. Oh, attacking Stoker. That is. I'm not so sure why you're going for why he's so going for that. I'll go for Pint Pot there. He's certainly in range of Pint Pot. Fence three and armor two, and he gets three hits. Down to two. He's right. going to take the dodge. So he gets fortunate, but that That's was super lucky there. After after generally pretty optimal play from Steve there, he didn't really make any misplays. He was very intelligent oh, no. about the use of his traits. Very efficient with all of his influence, and that was a, a questionable call there. And yeah. it, it may have been that was the only player in range, but. Yeah. From where Obulus looked like he was standing and given the dodges that were taken. So he took a two-inch dodge away from Pint Pot and then the two-inch dodge from Unpredictable. Yeah. Within theory, mathematically, should if be you take enough. a shadow like in that line, he should be within two of Pint Pot. Yeah, Pint Pot's three is one again. Uh, Sid the coach said, I'd rather not attack Spigot right now. The threat of balls gone is there. That only matters if you can hit Obulus. Yeah, yeah. obviously you can't counter-attack if Obulus is outside of the melee range. So that's, yeah. there's no threat of counter -attack. That's All of these players here, there is no th real threat of counter-attack. Ob as Ob Obulus can just, like you just go around and hit whoever he wants. With no repercussions. Yep. Obulus, Lord of the Dance. Lord of the Dance, yep. Why? So, uh, sorry, we're seeing there, uh, Obulus, uh, Steve just announced Obulus is moving. So he's moving into Stoker's taking melee, but I think he's going to hit bigger. Taking his advance to move into Stoker's melee range, or into Stoker. Was that an advance or was that the dodge? He uh, got the one, the momentous oh one yes, inch dodge, yeah. so he hasn't actually moved yet. So he's gone for Stoker uh, no, again, and he's rolled really well again. <laughs> he gets two successes, but... Four, four net hits, two successes, two inch dodge. Stoker did declare the counter-attack. That's the one momentum gone for the Brewers. Definitely riding his luck here, Steve, with yeah. some peculiar selection Choices. of targets. Because he's now moved in on, on Spigot, and obviously there's no fear of the counter-attack. No. So both players just making sure they're both happy with everything. Yeah. So Steve here 
in intended to be out of one inch of Stoker. Of Stoker. And yeah. Dries being and very Dries sporting very and saying, OK, sporting if that's there. your intention, then move yourself so you are where you intended to be. Yeah, very sporting from... Good job from Dries there. Dries there. Kudos to him. He, he, he was in every right there to say, no, yeah, yeah. you've Beat made the mistake. Said. And that will probably would ruin the day for Obulus because Stoker oh, yeah. with that double, double push on one hit. Yep. Send him straight back to where he came from. Yeah. Granted, I, I don't know how much that would change things because no. Obulus still hasn't made his advance. No, that's true. Yeah, Drew's uh, a lovely guy. Played him, played him at last year's Vengeance myself. Yep. He's a lovely guy to play. Yep, and helped us out at a crisis in Essen. Crisis in... Uh, not in Essen, in... Uh, Antwerp, is it? Antwerp, yeah. Uh, so, Obulus... I think that was the advance from Obulus there. Oh, that was the double dodge from that uh, initial attack on Spigot just then. Oh, has he made another attack in Obulus there? Obulus attacks Spigot, double dodge. Okay. Attacking okay. Spigot again, threes and one. Uh, and gets. he gets two successes. I'm guessing the momentous single dodge. Yeah, yep. momentous one inch dodge. Oh, it's looking dire. I'll tell you what, though, Steve is making a meal of this. Oh, this God, was a God. relatively simple activation, and he's target selection. Yeah, has been. I mean, questionable. I mean, the, the the thing that we saw was two inch dodge forwards, hit spigot, two inch dodge, hit spigot, two inch dodge, and then one inch dodge momentously. Yep. To safety, take a shot. Yep. As you can see at the top of the camera there, Dries doing a wonderful job of his uh, little little costume of his brewers with yeah, his coat. Yeah. His oh, four net hits from Mobulus there. Who is he hitting? Oh, it's that on Spigot also. Momentous two damage on Spigot. He takes Momentous two damage on Spigot. He's, I believe he's disengaged so he can just sort of do what he wants. Do what he wants now. So this is the last attack. So this is influence number six yep. with one remaining. I'm guessing he's looking for the one-inch dodge here just to disengage before he makes his yeah. shot. Three, uh, four net hits. Is he going to get tempted armor. by the damage? He does yeah. just take. He does just take the momentous dodge, dodge out of engagement. Steve walking around the table to make sure that he doesn't send anything flying. It's probably a wise idea. Yeah. Now he's obviously well in tapping range, disengaged. I'm assuming he will bonus time this just to make sure. Oh yeah, if you've got so much momentum. If you're that close, you take everything you've got. Yes, he did bonus yep. time it. Three dice kick, needing threes, and he, and gets, he gets that it. one in also. Two so that goals. is 8-0 to the Mortician's player. And, uh, I'm, I, I think it might be curse of the commentators here when I'm saying it's going to be a slog, it's going to be a grind. Oh, and no, this is just very, very... The Obulus aggressive. show. Yeah, yeah. Who said he couldn't do it, huh? The Obulus show is live and well here. Yeah, yeah. All of this just shows the cascading effect of one small misplay yep. was leaving that ball on spigot. Oh, this yeah. is where this is all, this all yeah, came all from. All pinned down back to that. Yep. That ball should have been passed over to anyone else. Just means that you were in a, in a peculiar scenario where Steve was in a position that he could be getting the momentum that he needed to be able to, with the use of the legendary, to try and ensure that he's getting the next activation. Yep. And yeah. then, okay, granted, there was a 6-1 to one dice roll that did take the, the initiative away, which I definitely did. hurt. It definitely hurts. Uh, two plus two is is never a guarantee. No. Um, no. There's, there's so many options on the dice there that that wouldn't win you. But we're in a in a peculiar state that you often get to when you're you're eight nil down in a game of Guild Ball you where want, you, you can't score. You just well, if you, you can, score, but you just give possession of the ball yeah. back to your opponent. They score, they win. Yep. So now, if if it's going to become a slog, this is where it becomes a slog. Yeah. Now, what I think the Brewer player needs to do as a Brewer myself is get Mash away from the fight, get yep. the ball on him. He has no part in the game besides moving around. Yep. Alternatively, Mash goes, takes the ball, runs off and drops the ball. Yes. So yeah. there's no risk of Puppet Master. Yep. And then if anyone starts to come close, Mash just picks it back picks up. Picks it up, walks away, drops it again. Yep. That, 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 that is the optimal play. I think that's what we might yep. start to see here. That or Quaff. You see Quaff pick up the ball... Yep. Run off down to the sort of the middle of the pitch, down in the corner, yep. where no one can get to him. The puppet master is going to be generally it's 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 possible, but it's a risky play. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like the lion's den. It's like Obulus just standing in the middle of them, yeah. just pointing us to the the points. And once again, no two-inch melee available to yep. go and engage him, and he will be fine. I guess the thing is now, you. 
Who do you send in to try and trigger it? Looks it? like Mist's going in to try and strip this ball off Mash. Yeah, so... Checking his ranges. I don't think he can get there. I don't know. With a sprint... It uh, starts in cover. So we're sprinting 10 inches. Start in cover, sprint. But I don't know if you and just... Wait. I don't know if you if you sprint because you want to acrobatics in to get yes, rid of the get unpredictable movement. Yeah. So if, if you if you were to sprint 10 to where that is there. So he just has. And then I'm guessing we're going to see an acrobatics. Ah. So uh, there... Steve made a slight misplay by getting into engagement with yep. Mash. Potentially a misplay. I mean, if I mean, he's he, within he, two he, inches, then he, he can can't be out it. of... Yeah, yeah, he just yeah. acrobatics to make up that. But Mash yep. does use that intelligently. Dries being clever there and moving him out of cover to deny Mist the additional dice that yep. Mist would get if he was still in cover. And then Mist is going to have to acrobatic back in. She does. Needs to get... Has four dice... Maybe bonus time up to five against Death Three Armor Two. And he in needs one success. Tackle. Why? Where's the two armor? Because oh, he's near Estus. He's near Estus. He's protected. Sorry, yes. So he does bonus time, and he's looking for a tackle here. And if he gets so, a tackle, we might be looking at game. So needing three threes on five dice, very reliable. And he just he, makes it. He gets it. He takes the tackle, tackle and I'm guessing he's going to go for a shot here. Yeah. So he goes for the shot on goal. So base three, dice, so three, three dice, dice needing fours, a four. No, he needed. won't be needing a four. He'll be two dice needing a four. Oh, because he's Screamer! Engaged, right? And that's game. And that is game. 12-0 to the Morticians. So just to clarify, that should have been two dice. He is engaged, Mash is yeah. engaged. Uh, fortunately, the score, it, it, it was 6-6-1 six, six, rolled, so yep. there was no... If you take, even if you take one of those away. Any one of those away, it's still, still game. Still game. Uh, but, uh, very quick. So again, our prediction uh, was incorrect. The oh, first well, game we said this we will be really wrong. quick. Two goal scoring teams. Two, two 12 nils on the stream. Two 12 nils on the stream. Uh, well, guys, what can we say about that game? That uh, was the Obulus show, and it can all be traced back to keeping the ball on Spigot, as you said earlier. Yep. If he'd have not passed to Spigot, passed to literally anyone else. Yep. That and was. It's a different game. It was. Keep it on Esther's. Keep, keep the ball on Esther's. You've still got gluttonous mass. You can't puppet master it. Yep. You had the fire AOE in the way. Yes, he'd taken the momentum. He could clear it. He could walk forwards. He could trigger it. He could tackle. But then he's not got the movement to get to goal. Yep. Literally anyone else except Spigot. And you've got the the big thing there. And I, I suspected it might be coming. I wasn't 100% certain. Yeah. But the momentum, it's, oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a weird one where had he not gone in with MASH to get that momentum, Obulus doesn't have the option to do nope. that. Because without that momentum, Obulus can't do what he does no, because no. He's, he's not fast enough he's, he's not because fast, yeah. he's on fire. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the early legendary, I suspected it was coming. It did come. Yep. And in the end, the game was over so quick that you never saw the repercussions of using of that using legendary it. so yeah. early. Yeah. Um, a, sh a shame for Dreis there. There's no, no one likes to see a game over that quickly. I know. I mean, did he really have the opportunity to do anything in that game? He didn't really do it. He threw it through. Hit the bird a few times with Mash. Yeah, hit the bird. Managed to burn Obulus. Yep. Do some very successful character plays. But ultimately, one mistake cost him the game. Yep. Yep. And it does also show... Um, you need to inch melee in your team, guys. Yes, you we said it at the end of the last one. We said it at the end of the last one. We should make a, a, a public service announcement. Yeah, get some two-inch melee in there because that is... Just ah. two-inch melee running the show. And it was it was peculiar that you saw Mash burst away from the team as the only two-inch melee. It's, I mean, I'm not even he's necessarily a, he, he saying... He should be in a defensive role, in my opinion, yep. which may not be correct. He should be in a defensive role, staying within four inches yep. of Esters, holding the ball, or just being a like last activation. Oh, you've brought Obulus in. Get on, get on the floor. Yep. Push him into engagement for someone. At the start of next turn, they can just rail on him. Yeah, I think Steve sort of realized super early on in that game that Obulus is safe. Uh, uh, Obulus is somewhat untouchable. I can be hyper aggressive with him, yep. and then it, it, with that, taking that mentality and going forward, and then yep. just see I, eyes must have lit up when oh, he yeah, sees yeah. that Spigot's got the ball, and he's just like he's got good it's kick stats. He's in range of me. Here. There's momentum that I can just steal. Yeah, this can't really go wrong. Four dice needing a three, followed by four dice needing a four, followed by. An attack needing a sink, two threes on five dice, yep, and then three dice needing a four. All really reliable. So the only dice thing, rolls. generally very high standard of play from Steve. There. Oh yes, there yeah, very much. Very so. deficient. The only questionable ones. What was what that? What were second? those attacks what? on Stoker? 
Why? What was going on there? I mean, I, I think you at home can all agree with us there that the optimal play was two-inch dodge forward with Shadow Like and just beat on Spigot to get everything you want. Spigot or Pipepot, they're both 3-1. They're both, three both one. out of bit. Either no. of them. Yeah. Optin uh, uh, showing off, yeah, maybe? maybe. I don't know. That was that was a peculiar selection. But yeah. what can we say? Nevertheless, it's It all paid off. I mean, he's, he's got that much influence that he can make a mistake like that and still recover from it because there's no two-inch melee threat out there to take yeah. the ball off him or knock him down. It just goes to show also, like, this, it, very often in Guild Ball you see people when they're talking about killing the ball, yep. it's very often behind. I can't help but think that sometimes the right option is when you have the ball, yeah. kick it past them. Kick, yeah. kick it towards kick it their back. goal because it it forces them to take other activations to get it back forwards get or reduces people's threat range because they have to go backwards to go back before to get it. they yeah. can go forwards. Um, but yeah, well played by Steve. A really quick game. There's yeah. not even sure what those plot cards are, but they, so, they weren't relevant. Uh, just going through some Twitch comments here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what were Dries's four other players for the draft? What Dries's did he have available through? Four other players. Where's my... So he had Tapper, Hooper, Avarice and Greed, Veteran Spigot. No, they're, they're the other four. They're the other four. They're, they're the, four. the other four. Veteran so Spigot would have been half decent in this matchup. Potentially. I mean, you wouldn't keep the ball on him because he's got the 3-8 kick. I mean, I look at... I, I can't help but look at that and think Tapper. Scum... It, if oh, Scum was scum. in that 10, Scum, scum would, would be, be so good for holding up that ball. Yep. You've got weak kick stats, which like make Puppet Master worse. He's death very five. quick. He's got unpredictable. He's yep. deaf five. Shadow-like and unpredictable. He can get away from whoever's coming in after him. I can't help but think that that is, that is where you want that ball to yep. be in that matchup. And then and also, there's ta Tapper's in the list, and there's no Scum in the list. Yeah. So it, is that just, I'm bringing Tapper, but I'm never going to use him? Because if you're taking Tapper, you surely want Scum to have that max influence cap. Granted, it's not as guaranteed as... Um, reliable re uh, not reliable uh, required as in season 2 and 1 where yes, you've yeah, got yeah, the extra yeah, influence for having scum so you can take Quaff and benefit from it but he is better with scum yeah I mean you just I don't know who you take out and maybe you don't use A and G I don't really see, I, I know what they A do I know what they can bring but I don't yeah. know what they are bringing if that makes any sense yeah so so the, the thing is he's not got Friday in here so he's not got his his main striker. I mean, yep. Veteran Spigot is a very good striker. Well, main striker and good setup. Dirty Knives yeah. is well, that's so good. It, it, it can allow you to get the knockdown just that little bit easier with your non-tapper yeah. or stave models. Um, Veteran Spigot being the only out-and-out -out striker for the guild uh, without Friday means that he doesn't then get to take regular Spigot. Yep. And obviously Friday and Spigot have their like uh, def defense support. Yes. You could take regular Spigot, have that buff for the team, Keep Friday at def five. Yep. And she she also becomes a very good ball holder. Not so much against these guys, but against other guilds where yeah. she's def five, armor yeah. one. I can't help but think that Scum would have been really, really good in this really matchup. Useful. But not in the ten, so there you so, go. Yeah. Uh interesting lineups we're seeing today. Yeah. Uh, outside the, the the normal that we're yeah. seeing. Um Any other questions? Yeah, someone said didn't Dirge die? No. No, I don't think so. Uh or if he did, we didn't catch it, but it might be 12-1 or 12-0. I don't, I don't, I don't think, think he Dirge it. died. Uh, no, Dirge was just knocked down and smacked a little. Yeah, so yep. Quaff, uh, Quaff, Mash went in, did two damage, knocked down, yep. then just pushed him a little bit, and then kept him knocked down, disengaged, ran away, picked the ball up, but then it was all over before that happened. Yep. So that's where Mist got to come in. Uh, Steve selected Stoker for some drama. If that's the reason for the attacking him. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, no Friday, no scum, boo from Sid yeah. the coach. Quids, what sticks was Steve using? Uh, I believe they are... So well, I'm not too very sure. Very good question. I don't know what those ones are. Uh, there's loads of different companies out there that make them. Uh, choose your own. Uh, Giblin has smoldering eyes. Giblin is quite the ball holder as well. <laughs> good, good stuff. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Thumbs up from... Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, well done, well done. You got me. Cool. Right. So well, I think uh, I think we'll wrap it up there. Yeah. We're uh, going. Next game is well. There's there's one hour left on this round, so now it's perfect time for you guys to go to the shops, get yourself some beers, go and, uh, relax for a bit, and yeah. then we'll see you back in sort of just over an hour for the next round. Yeah. And uh, congratulations again to Steve. And thank you very much for watching, guys.